As we all know, to fight climate change, we need to reduce our production of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide. We are now in the middle of an energy transition, moving from fossil fuels to green sustainable energy. The European Union wants to lead in the global fight against greenhouse gas emissions. Within the EU, we work together as an energy union, making energy more secure, affordable and sustainable. The EU target for 2030 is to have a 27% renewable share in energy consumption. An energy saving of 27% by improved efficiency and a 40% cut in greenhouse gas emissions, leading to an 80% cut in 2050. The use of wind turbines, solar panels and electric vehicles contributes to realising these goals and helps to facilitate the transition towards green energy. We are going to need a lot of them. Now here's the challenge. At the European Commission's Joint Research Centre, we have analysed the materials needed to produce wind turbines, solar panels and electric vehicles. We found that the demand for materials will increase significantly by 2030 in wind turbines, solar panels and electric vehicles. Supply issues are to be expected for some materials, and some of them will exceed the current supply. Now, this is today's worldwide supply of dysprosium, a material we need to produce wind turbines. And this is our demand for wind in the EU only from now until 2030. As you can see, a shortage occurs already in 2020. It is a similar story for the production of electric vehicles. This is today's worldwide supply of lithium used in batteries for electric vehicles. And this is the demand in the EU for the production of electric vehicles. The same materials are used for several high-tech products such as smartphones, tablets and laptops. So actual demand will be even higher than these estimates. We are very reliant on countries outside the EU for our supply. And some of these countries have poor governance, possibly obstructing trade. Materials with high economic value coming from these countries are defined as critical for the EU. If we don't act now, there could be a serious shortage in materials supply affecting the future production of clean energy. So, now what? We can improve our relations with non-EU countries through diplomacy. We can support the mining production within the EU, ensuring environmentally friendly conditions. In some cases, we might be able to find alternative materials that are less critical, and we can improve our recycling. Manufacturers should use recycled materials by default and support recycling in their product design. Consumers need to be aware of the valuable materials used in products. So, in short, we have identified four measures contributing to prevent materials shortage to ensure sufficient materials to deploy more wind turbines, solar panels and electric vehicles in the EU, we need to apply all these measures. Let's stay on schedule for a sustainable future.